This review is of Cedar's Pineapple Jalapeno Hummus. They support the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. This is kosher, vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO, family-owned. And that should be just about it. Yep. And it is vegan. Two tablespoons have got three grams of fat uh, that are not saturated or trans, no cholesterol, 150 milligrams of sodium, five grams of carbs, of which one is dietary fiber, two grams of sugar, of which less than one is added, and a gram of protein. And these are the ingredients. And don't be fooled by agave. Just because it says agave does not mean it's good for your health. All right, let's give it a try. So as you probably expect, it's sweet. So far, I'm not really getting much in the way of spiciness. I find it irritating when companies market a product with words like habanero, ghost pepper, uh, Scottish bonnet, and other very, very hot chili pepper, um, but are not actually um, providing a product that matches the intensity of any of those peppers. And to some degree, peppers don't have a lot of variation in flavor. Now, I'm not saying that they're all completely identical in flavor. They're not, but um, there's definitely some similarity. So if you're selling it as the flavor, you should mark it as habanero flavored and have an accurate scale of how spicy things are. Because... Here in America, at least, I find that the vast majority of foods that I find in the grocery store that are marked as spicy ha either have almost no spiciness, um, and that can even be something that's marked as hot sometimes, or very little spiciness. So the, the degree of spiciness that's in these products is way out of line with the, the mild, medium, hot thing that most companies use or four chilies or five chilies, whatever it happens to be. And it's very frustrating because I like spicy. Now, I don't like sweating and my stomach is aching like when I did the Satan, uh, the tongue, the toe of Satan lollipop challenge. Um, that really hurt my stomach. I mean, that was not fun at all. I just want to have a nice, enjoyable burn in my mouth. And for some of you, I know <laughs> there's no such thing as an enjoyable burn. And I get it. Um, I don't want to have my tongue blasted off. I don't want to have um, a 24-hour uh, experience of pain in my mouth or anywhere, any other part of my body for that matter. But I do want to know when I buy a product how spicy it is. And if they're using a pepper for flavor and not spiciness, it should be indicated. But this is America where manufacturers can do what they please and lie as much as they please. And there are very few consequences because our government is owned by them. Sorry, I'm going to get off my soapbox right now before I really start ranting. Um, very mild. Certainly not habanero level. Not jalapeno level. It's just super mild. <coughs> Tastes nice. But if you want spice, you're going to have to add your own chili pepper powder or something. Um, I'll give it a six. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.